everybody. Welcome to The Other Side of Midnight. I'm Frank Morano. This is very exciting. I may sound a little different. I may look a little different because for the same reason. This is the first hour of The Other Side of Midnight that we are broadcasting from Stage 77. Now, if you followed any of the exciting things that go on at WABCRadio.com or on 77 WABC on social media, you know that Stage 77 is so much more than a soundstage, so much more than a video production studio. It's essentially a multi-purpose content provider in a box. There's been debates here. There's been roundtable discussions here. There's been award giveaways here. I think there's even been a pie-eating contest here or two. But what we're doing today is very exciting. And you'll be able to see, if you're listening on radio, you're going to be able to see the video of this either on 77 WABC's Facebook page or on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash MoranoFan. But it's going to be all over the place. It's going to be on Instagram at 77 WABC. It's going to be everywhere. The reason we're here at Stage 77 today is because I have a very special in-studio guest, someone who is a world-renowned hypnotist. And that's not an exaggeration. That's quite literally. He is known as the trance master. Some people say he is the best hypnotist in the world. He has been named the hypnotist of the year by some very rep reputable hypnosis organizations. I have not interviewed him in 24 years. I have not spoken to him, or in person anyway, in 18 years. And it gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome back John Serbone. John, it's great to see you. Great to be back. So what have you been up to the last 18 years? Oh, a couple of things. Um, I have been at this profession of mine for a long time, and I just love this. I eat and breathe and sleep this. I'm the inventor, creator, and developer of something called speed trance hypnosis. As of this past week, I'm up to 115 different speed inductions. I can put people out that quickly. I've done shows so far in 29 U.S. states. I have something lining up, it looks like, in Milwaukee at some point, so that'll be 30. So I've been doing shows for around 30 years. I've got about 30 states worth of uh, background coming up shortly. I have headlined in Las Vegas at numerous casino hotels. I've headlined in Atlantic City. I've headlined on Broadway. Not bad for a kid from Staten Island. No right? doubt. So uh, let's talk a little bit about what it is that you do and what hypnosis is in general. I think people are familiar with the idea of hypnosis. I think people have seen a lot of movies where hypnosis plays a major role in the plot, where uh, maybe some, some somebody that's uh, got a surreptitious motive hypnotizes someone to go out and commit bank robberies and do all sorts of nefarious things, and this person that's doing it has no memory of it. Uh, start with me from the basics. What exactly okay. is hypnosis? Hypnosis is a naturally occurring brain relaxation state that we go in and out of with no one's help a minimum of seven times a day. The more intelligent, stressed out, or creative, the more hypnotizable you are. So, when you zone out, you're in hypnosis. I'll give you some examples. You ever laugh or cry at a movie ever in your life? Sure. That's hypnosis. You know it's fake but you're reacting like it's real and it's happening around you. Um, let's see. You ever drive a car and you're not sure how you got there in one piece? <laughs> right? Yeah. You zone out. It's called highway or road hypnosis, depending upon whose book you read. And everybody goes in and out of hypnosis. Now, remember when you learned how to drive? Mm -hmm. You were white-knuckling the wheel. You know, when I learned how to drive, I had my dad, who was prone to yelling a lot, and I had the dean of discipline from my high school as my driver's ed teacher, and you'd hit a pothole, and would be, oh, my goodness, and they'd be, you know, swearing for angels and saints to intervene, and now I don't see the dean too often, whose teeth seemed to be in a permanent grit back in those days. Good morning, Mr. Malone, good morning, you know, that kind of thing, and my father has since left the earth, but whatever. The bottom line is, is now I drive the car in a more relaxed way. Everything's automatic. So what hypnosis does is it addresses the automatic part of who we are. What would you say is the average percentage of the automatic part of your mind running your life? Would you say it's 10%, 20%? What do you think? Uh, I, I would say it's somewhere in the 20% range, maybe 30. How about it's 94% of what you're doing? Wow. What's dressing you, feeding you, taking you to the restroom, tying your shoelaces, taking you into the shower for a grown man, shaving your face, um, Anything, eating, walking, driving a car, it's all subconscious behavior. Yeah, it, it takes me a lot more effort to shave than most, but uh, that's a, a story for another, another story day. For exactly. Show, right? so. uh, talking with uh, John Serbone, a terrific hypnotist who has mastered the art of the speed trance. You can check this out on his uh, YouTube page. You can either search on YouTube, uh, Trance Master, or they can go to your website, John. What's your website? You can go to worldfamoushypnotist.com. That's worldfamoushypnotist.com. And you can go to my YouTube page, which is a Trance Master channel. 
channel. They just renamed it. So everything that you just described, uh, driving, uh, shaving, eating, and so forth, that all just sounds like things that sort of just becomes uh, unconscious behavior, or things that we're so accustomed to that we're not aware that we're doing them at the time that we're doing them. When I've seen hypnosis, either stage shows or when I've seen hypnotists displayed on movies or television shows, I see hypnotists go to a great deal of effort uh, to, to say to people, all right, uh, you know, on the count of one, on the count of two, uh, from the time I get to here to there, you're getting sleepy, your eyes are getting so heavy, and then uh, when I give you the verbal cue, such and such, that'll make you cluck like a chicken. What you're describing, all the examples you just gave, driving, shaving, eating, there's no hypnotist giving those instructions. How is that the same as what a lot of us have in our mind it's is a, what hypnotists do? It's a brainwave or brain relaxation shift, perhaps, into relaxation. That excess is a subconscious part of our mind, which is leading most of our lives. It's been said the more intelligent, stressed out, or creative, the more hypnotizable a person is. Now, there's a list of things, which I didn't bring with me for this show, about different ways people can go into hypnosis. Monotony, for example. I recall being in high school, for example, and I had some really terrific teachers in high school. My school was so great, they recently went out of business. But the, bo <laughs> the bottom line is now it's five charter schools in one. But... We had some professors in college, I had some teachers in high school that would drone on and on. You may remember, say, the Wonder Years, the teacher he had, there was Ben Stein, mm -hmm. who used to write speeches for right. Nixon. This is the planet Earth, and all the kids in the class is zoning out. That's hypnosis. So hypnosis is not necessarily something I do to you. When I'm doing a show and I go, sleep, and everybody kind of falls over and the whole audience goes, wow. You know, it's just me guiding them back in. It's something I guide you into rather than it's something I do to you because you're in and out of it without my help. So say you were in school years ago and you were zoned out and the teacher called on you to ask you a question and you were looking out the window at a beautiful tree or something or a plane going by and that's when they always called on you, right? That's right. when you were zoned out. And... They asked you a question, and you had no idea what the question was. What would happen? Your stupid friend would lean over and intentionally whisper the wrong answer right, to you. Sure. And you repeat it, and then you get yelled at. He'd get yelled at, or she'd get yelled at, and then, you know, you go back to teaching again. So we're all a lot more suggestible than we think we are. Everybody's more suggestible. Uh, three final questions, and then we have four brave souls that are going to allow you to give us a demonstration of what hypnotism is. And I want to encourage everybody to check out the video of this. Uh, it's on Facebook. Just search 77 WABC or Frank Morano or uh, Red Apple Audio Networks, any of those. It comes right up. Um, one is I, I know there are some hypnotists that specialize in showmanship, using uh, hypnosis for comedic abilities and things like that. There are other hypnotists that use it more for therapeutic means, getting people to stop smoking, stop overeating, stop uh, drinking too much, whatever the case may be. You actually do both, right? Absolutely, and I'm also a certified instructor, so I train people for this as a career path. Um, okay, it's two different animals, but yet they're kind of coupled together. Let me explain. I've met people in this profession who have been trained by certain instructors and the instructors will turn around and say, oh, you're one of those stage hypnotists, I don't want to talk to you. But without stage hypnotism keeping the profession alive, mm -hmm. after Mesmer fell out of favor with the aristocracy in Europe, stage hypnotism kept clinical hypnosis alive because it wouldn't have existed otherwise. The whole thing would have kind of went south. So basically, um, I do both. And it's funny because one feeds the other. For example, I was looking for a way in my private sessions to get people to leave the private sessions happy, smiling, and laughing. I don't want people leaving my sessions, you know, kicking the dog, mad at their spouse, hating their parents, all that stuff. I want them to leave laughing. And other forms of therapeutic models that people might go to for other things, they may walk out upset, they hate their life, this one, that one, the other one. I don't want anybody hating anything. There's too much of that in the world. So I came up with the idea of making them laugh at my funny color red pen, you know? And I just make them laugh, it becomes sillier and funnier and funnier and sillier, and they laugh and they walk out happy. Um, and then I said, well, I can put that in the show. And I pulled it out, it became a part of the show. Now at the end of the show is all the time. It's either my wristwatch or my shoes, and if I forget the pen, that's what that is. Or I pull out the red pen, it's hysterically funny. Why is it funny? Because I suggested it's funny. Everything is suggestion. All the ads on TV, all the ads on radio, all of it is suggestion. If I asked you to close your eyes right now... And Except think, our ads. Our ads are really great products. No, no, I'm, no I'm not saying they're not great products, but everything is a suggestion. For example, the sneakers I'm wearing. Somebody suggested that's a great pair of sneaker brand, right? So I'm going to buy those sneakers. So if I asked you to close your eyes for a second, I'm not going to hypnotize you, relax. And um, 
ask you to think not of a pink elephant, and that's, don't start smiling and giggling right. when you see the pink elephant standing behind you eating a peanut, <laughs> wearing a straw hat. Don't laugh. It's it's all that mm -hmm. end. Whatever you do, you know. The idea. Open your eyes. Did you see or imagine a pink elephant? Uh, uh, that's the only thing did. I did. Uh, uh, we got, we've got a break, and then we're going to bring in four people that uh, you are going to demonstrate some of your skills on. But just so folks know, can you hypnotize someone to do something crazy? Like, can you, uh, heaven forbid, hypnotize someone to go out and commit a murder or something like that? No, because there's a base built-in safety valve, and if you're not necessarily a murderer, you would never do that. Um, that's my experience after a lifetime of doing this. I invented a self-hypnosis technique when I was three years old. Wow. My dad yelled a lot. I didn't like the yelling. I used to go upstairs and put myself in my happy place, which turned out to be hypnosis. So you can actually hypnotize yourself. That's called self-hypnosis. Uh, All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. Anybody getting hypnotized by me is following my guidance into hypnosis, but they're doing it for themselves. We're going to remind folks about this later, but uh, you can actually see John Serbone in person. People are coming from far and wide to see him December 9th at Z2 in Staten Island. A terrific establishment. It's sort of like a hybrid of a diner and a nightclub. It's a great little spot. Uh, great food. My favorite is the Portobello Omelette. And they're not an advertiser, so this is not hip hypnotic yeah. suggestion. But if Look they at, wanted we'll, to give we'll me a free Portobe Portobello Omelette, that wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, if they want to see you on Z at, at Z2, what's the best way for them to do that? They have to get tickets to Just advance. go to my website, World Famous Hypnotist. It'll redirect back to the other name that I use, which is Hypnosis Stage Show. And um, there's an events page. Great. And I'm doing an event tomorrow, this evening actually, in New Jersey at a high school, Tuesday night um, at, in Hillside. So if anybody wants to get a hold of me for that, that they're welcome to do Terrific. it as well. Terrific. Well, we got a lot but of listeners out there thing, as well. Come see me at Z2 because it's like the closest thing you're going to find to a Las Vegas showroom awesome. in Staten Island. Awesome. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Coming up in a moment, we have a very diverse cadre of people that are going to try their hand at being hypnotized. This is The Other Side of Midnight. I'm Frank Morano, here with John Serbone, straight ahead. Welcome back to The Other Side of Midnight. I am Frank Morano, here with John Serbone, and we have four brave victims, uh, uh, hypnotic subjects, that have agreed to have some fun with us for the next 20 minutes or so as uh, part of a demonstration of what hypnosis can do, not when it's used therapeutically, but when it's used purely for comedic purposes. Let me uh, first welcome a gentleman that's no stranger to the world of comedy. You may remember him from the old Howard Stern show, Steve Grillo. Hello there, Steve. Yo, it's a pleasure to be here, finally. I've been trying to get you for a while. All I had to do was get you hypnotized, and that's the only way we can get you at the studio. Who doesn't want free hypnotism? Come on. <laughs> exactly. I love the Wohop t-shirt you've got. That's great. Wait, uh, could he make me not fat? <laughs> only a, get in line behind me. <laughs> yeah. uh, my uh, old friend Rich Hoffman is here. You want your last name used? Well, it's too late. We yeah, use it. So, Rich now. Hoffman is here. He's a financial executive. He's done a lot of other interesting things in his life. Uh, are you excited about this, Rich? Absolutely. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. And his lovely wife, Danielle, is here today as well. Danielle, have you ever been hypnotized before? No. Oh, so this is a first for it. both of you, yes. I guess, right? Yes. Well, were you hypnotized for, for anything? I think once on a cruise ship. Okay. All right. Good. Good. You. It was so good you don't remember it. I like that. <laughs> you know? And believe it or not, this is a real treat. We actually have the mother of the person that delivers us Mexican food. Uh, <laughs> that's actually true. Uh, Jen. Uh, Jen Romaro is a famous comedian, uh, personality commentator, and PR specialist. It's great to see you, Jen. Thank you. It's great to see you. You've never been hypnotized. No, I haven't. Okay. Well, uh, John, the floor is yours. Okay. For safety purposes, like I said before, put your feet flat on the floor, put your imaginary airline safety belt, we can put that away for you, because <laughs> probably not going to need that right away. And what I want you to do is put your airline safety belt on so you don't fall out of the chair and stay nice and safe. I'd rather have you fall on me than land on the floor. Okay, so what I want to do is a couple of little quick things with you, just to get you guys nice and softened up a little bit, get you used to fooling around, having a good time. You guys ready for a good time? You ready for some fun? Okay. This is what I want you to do. Pick up your hand with your elbow, make a gun with your fingers, make a finger gun. Don't shoot yourself in the head. You can aim it away a little bit. No, 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 no. All over here. Yeah, shoot at the audience. or They're not going to get hit. It's video. Okay. All right. Now, pick your hand, elbow up, lazy bones. There we go. Okay. Now, look at your gun. Look at me. Look at your gun. Look at me. Your gun. Me. Your gun. Me. Look at your gun. Look at me. Gun. Me. Gun. Me. Now, make a circle. Look at your circle. Me. Circle. Me. Circle. Me. Circle. Me. Circle. Me. Now, quick, 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 quick. Touch your chin. Touch your chin. You see, your chin is down here. <laughs> Unless you're him and you're cheated. By a round of applause, you all got it wrong. That's terrific. Terrific. Give yourself a round of applause. Um, this other one I'm going to do is something I came up with from grammar school, of all things. I just want to see how well you respond and that kind of thing. Okay. So, I'm going to throw a couple of things out at you and just respond verbally, okay? 
If um, I'm having a cola, it's not a Pepsi, it's a... Coke. Right. If somebody tells you a funny story with a punchline, it's called a... Joke, joke. Uh, somebody is having a cigarette, which will help them stop doing it on the clinical end. They're having a... Smoke. Smoke. The white part of an egg is called the... Yo. Yo. No, the answer we're looking for is albumin. Oh, what is no. albumin? <laughs> I love that Alex Trebek moment I'm having in honor of his passing, you know? So basically, hypnosis, again, is just something I get to, to relax with and that kind of thing. And you'll, your ears continue to work. You may slump forward a little bit. And it's okay to touch you on the wrist. I, we covered that before. All right. So may I hypnotize you first? Yes. Okay. Get your arm out of the way. Take all the power out of this arm. Lucy Goosey in the arm. There's the Lucy Goosey. You know, about seven years ago, Schwarzenegger's official Twitter page contacted me for friendship. I went in for a, do a knock on the door in my home in Staten Island. Hello, smart guy. Open the door. <laughs> all right. Here's what I want you to do. Follow my fingers with your eyes and with your head and let your head drop down. And I'll make you feel like I had a one-hour nap and a two-hour back rub. Is that a fair treat? Okay. Stare at my fingers like you're trying to inhale them into your mind. With your eyes and with your head and with your eyes and with your head, head dropping down and down and down and down. Sleep, five, four, three, two, one. Drifting, floating, dreaming, rocking, relaxing. Every rock, every tap, 85 bazillion times. Deeper and further, further and deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Drifting, floating, dreaming. As I double tap this area, it feels like you've had a one-hour nap and a two-hour back and foot rub. Manny, you're on top of the world. Nod your head, yes, you feel terrific. All the energy and stress is leaving your body. You're feeling absolutely wonderful and miraculous. Anytime I say sleep, you're back in hypnosis. Anytime I say sleep to you, your inner actress comes out ready to perform and be terrific. Your inner comedian comes out ready to have the best time ever, nodding your head yes. On the count of three, you sit up in that chair. If I show you my wristwatch, it makes you smile, it makes you giggle, it makes you laugh, laugh, laugh like a little girl. It makes you feel terrific. One, two, three, sitting up, 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 up. Hair out of your eyes. How you doing? Good. That didn't hurt too bad, right? Yeah. Have you seen my funny, funny wristwatch? Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Would that normally be funny to you? No. But it is now, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Round of applause for her. Give her a little happy, happy. Here we go. See, now, nothing to worry about. You just saw what happened with her, right? Now, this is why I'm the transmitter. Again, this is ice cold. I didn't warm anybody up for this show. I just came in here ice cold and did this. Your safety belt is on. Your name is? Danielle. That's correct. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> and Danielle once gave away a kidney to a coworker. She what? She once gave a kidney away to a coworker. Her own. God bless you, because I've had some kidney issues in the past myself. Take all the power out of this arm. Like a dead fish, a wet rag. Put it all the way down. Take no power in that arm at all. That keeps you safe. Stare at my finger. Stare at my finger harder, 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 like you're trying to inhale it. It's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. Sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. Drifting, floating, dreaming, rocking, relaxing. Every rock, every tap. 85 bazillion times deeper and further, further and deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Drifting, floating, and dreaming, drifting, floating, and dreaming. As I double tap this area, it feels like you've had a one hour nap and a two hour back and foot rub. Manny, you're on top of the world. Nod your head, yes, that feels terrific. And I count of three, you sit up in that chair. When I show you my wristwatch, you and her will start laughing because it's going to be terrifically funny to you. It's the silliest, funniest thing you ever saw. Every time I say sleep, you're back in hypnosis. One, two, three, wide awake, feeling absolutely terrific. How you doing? Good, thank you. Have you seen my funny, funny wristwatch? <laughs> <laughs> He's wondering what's so funny. We're going to get to him next. Round of applause for her. That took guts. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Have you, been, you said you were hypnotized before on this cruise ship? Yeah. Put it, that's by your wife. You can put it over here by her. You know, yeah. she's all family, you know. Yeah. I see you work out. Let all the power out of this arm. Let it be like a dead fish rag, okay? Whatever that means. Right. You're almost there anyway, dude. Just follow my finger with your eyes and with your head. Follow, follow, follow. When you drop down, your ears continue to work. Follow, 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 follow. All the way down. Sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. Drifting, floating, dreaming, rocking, relaxing. Every rock, every tap. 85 bazillion times. Deeper, further, further, and deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Drifting, floating, and dreaming. You're on top of the world feeling awesome. You've had a one-hour nap, a two-hour back and foot rub. Every time I say sleep really loud to you, you're going right back into hypnosis. When I show you my wristwatch, it seems so funny. You want to laugh and snort and giggle. It feels just happy, happy, laugh, laugh when you see my watch. You and I, great good friends, with me to the end of this performance on this TV show. One, two, three, wide awake, feeling absolutely terrific. Have you seen that watch? Yeah. <laughs> Round of applause for him. I took guts. I heard you on the radio and stuff. You were awesome. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. That. This is very warm here with this jacket on for you. I can yeah, feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Stare at my finger. When I drop my finger, drop your head and go in. Sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Drifting, floating, dreaming, rocking, relaxing. Every rock, every tap, 85 bazillion times. Deeper, further, further, deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. 
You feel like you've had a one-hour nap, a two-hour back and foot rub. I'm going to increase that later on as you stay with me. You're going to feel even more terrific when this is over. And all issues in your life that's ever stood in your way, you rise up above and you become the mighty, mighty person who overcomes and overwhelms anything that stands in your way. You are dynamic. You are unstoppable. You are mighty. Your inner comedian, your inner actor is coming out to the surface in a few moments, and you're going to be awesome. Whenever I show you my wristwatch, it just makes you crack up, giggle, smile, laugh, all the way up, feeling absolutely terrific. One, two, three, wide awake. How are we doing, man? You drop like a ton of bricks. Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for each other. That's a good thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to simply put yourself back into hypnosis with me. This is very simple. What I want you to do is put your hands out like this, like you're hugging skinny grandparent, and I'm, of course, your feet, not on the floor. Now do this. Now I'm just messing with you. Don't do that. What I want you to, I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I know I'm having fun. Everybody's smiling. You've all seen this watch, so it's a good thing. On the count of three, I want you to interlace your fingers. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. That's interlaced fingers. On the count of three. One. Two, two and a half, wait for it. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, two and seven, 18, ten, three. Now, what I want you to do is to make a V with your index fingers. Make a tight fist. You're a superhero punching through a wall. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Superhero punching through a wall. Straighten those arms out there. Buddy, come on. Be the mighty Thor. Be the mighty whatever you are, okay? Now, put your hands out like this, okay? Now, on the count of three, on the count of three only, make a V with your index fingers. Uh, don't do it yet, don't do it yet. This is what a V looks like, okay? This would be an X, that's the day in school you missed, okay? So on the count of three, put your V out with your fingers. One, two, three, make a V. Now, on the count of three, I want you to rotate those fingers up in front of your face, and as they magnetize together, you'll drop into deeper hypnosis. I'll deepen it for a few minutes, and then we'll start the comedy stuff. We'll have a great time. One, two, two and a half, wait for it. You guys are getting better. And three. Stare at the space between your fingers, stare at the space between your fingers. As you begin to do that, take a deep breath in. Let it out slow and close your eyes and ah, closing those eyes. And you won't be able to stop those fingers from coming in. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, it close those eyes and ah, closing those eyes. And as you do, your entire body is feeling dreary, wow, drowsy, weary, or dreary, feeling absolutely wonderful and on top of the world, all the way down. Take another deep breath and imagine those fingers are magnetizing, coming together, coming together. And as they do, they'll create a circuit of relaxation. My touch, my hands, my fingers on you will relax you 85 bazillion times. My life force, my chi, my ki, my prana will relax you all the way down. And as you do, you'll just drop down into a nice restful state and you're going to feel absolutely terrific as we do a bit of a show here and you're gonna have a great time. Take another deep breath and let those fingers just come together. The more you fight it, the more it begins to happen. One, deep breath in. Two, deep breath out. Ah. And let your body begin to relax and go down into sleep, 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 all the way down. And let your body go into sleep, 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 all the way down. Let those hands come apart. Drifting, floating, dreaming, rocking, relaxing. Every rock, every tap, 85 bazillion times. Deeper and further, further and deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Drifting, floating and dreaming, drifting, floating and dreaming, all the way down, all the way down. As I count from 1 to 10, we make your hypnosis 85, 850,000 times deeper on every word, every breath, every heartbeat. Let those arms just relax. Let that body of yours relax. Let it all just come out. Wow. Super relaxed, super calm, super on top of the world. Now, you may be wondering what my daytime job is. Maybe my daytime job also includes that of being a Hollywood movie agent. And I'm looking for two people from this show, possibly in your imagination, for a movie contract worth $85 million. $85 million can be yours right now if you nod your head yes like crazy on the count of three. On the count of three, nod that head yes like you want $85 million. One, two, three. Yes, 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 yes. Really do it good so they can see in the back. Yes, 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 yes. $85 million. Yes, 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 Good. Now, what we're going to have to do is have you pass your Hollywood movie screen test. So on the count of three, I want you to sit up in that chair with your eyes closed and your mind's eye and your imagination. Even if I have to help you sit up, I want you to visualize, sense, think about, notice, picture, imagine, even know that your subconscious mind is going to help you visualize and see the funniest cartoon movie in the world. It's going to get sillier and funnier and funnier and sillier. The more you laugh, the greater your chances of winning the $85 million imaginary prize. Nod your head yes if you want $85 million. Yes, 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 yes. Good. So on the count of three, sit up in that chair. One, sitting up, 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 eyes closed. Two, up, 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 staying in hypnosis, eyes closed. And three, it's getting funnier and funnier and funnier and funnier. It's the funniest cartoon you ever saw. It's getting funnier and funnier and funnier and funnier. It's getting funnier and funnier and funnier and funnier. Eyes are closed. Funny, 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 funny. Now as I count from one to three, it's 85,000 times funnier, 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 it's the funniest thing you ever saw. Now we're 85,000 times funnier, 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 funnier. Snap your feet and clap your hands to the music. I don't know what that is. Sleep.
head dropping down all the way down, deeper and further, further and deeper. All the way down. The smart ones are doing the best. Three, deeper and further. Two, all the way down. One, one, one. Now on the count of three, you're coming home from that school bus trip that took you to that movie. You're wearing a winter hat, winter parka, winter gloves, winter coat, winter shoes, winter everything. And winter underwear, winter socks, winter boots. The temperature on the bus has become a steamy 105 degrees. Your clothing will and must stay on for this bit. Your eyes will stay closed. On the count of three, sit up and fan yourself like crazy. The temperature on the bus is super hot. One, sitting up, 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 two, up, 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 three, fan yourself. Hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. Both hands. Hotter and 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 hotter. Eyes are closed. Hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. Or keep them up if you feel like it. Hotter and 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 friend's face and help them wipe their face. Wipe a friend's face. <laughs> wipe a friend's face. Yeah, it's funny. Wipe a friend's face. Just reach over and wipe a friend's face. Help this guy out over here. Help this guy over here. He needs some wiping on his face. That's a terrible thing. How sweaty it is. It's terrible. It's terrible. Wait a minute. I snap my fingers. It's 78. It's perfect. Hands back in your lap. Feet flat on the floor. Check your safety belt. Check your safety belt. And one and two and ready to drop down. Three. Sleep all the way down. All the way down. Deeper and further. Further and deeper. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Now you're back on that school bus trip and the temperature on that bus has become a freezing cold 20 degrees and they took you swimming after that event. So on the count of three, on the count of three only, you're wearing flip-flops, a wet bathing suit, wet hair, short shorts, wet t-shirt and the temperature on the bus is 20 freezing cold degrees. Body heat will keep you safe, body heat will keep you warm. On the count of three, sit up in that chair, you have icicles forming on your nose. One, freezing cold, sitting up, teeth are chattering. Two, teeth are chattering, teeth are chattering. Hug yourself, hug a buddy, hug a pal. Reach over, hug a pal, hug a buddy. Reach over, hug a pal, hug a buddy. Freezing cold, three. Colds are cold, we're cold, we're cold, we're cold, we're cold. cold. Cold to recall 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 freezing cold freezing cold freezing cold cold to recall 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 there are icicles forming on your nose wipe off your nose wipe off your nose you got a big icicle hanging off your nose there's a big icicle right here wipe off your nose what the heck we're all friends here reach over and wipe off a friend's nose wipe off a friend's nose just wipe off that friend's nose it's just so silly wiping off a friend's nose making new friends the world is full of friends we've yet to meet Feeling terrific. Hey, it's 78. Boom, it's perfect. Sit in your chair, check that safety belt, and the feet are flat on the floor. One, and two, and three. Sleep all the way down. Drifting, floating, dreaming. Every breath, every heartbeat, every rock, every tap of my hand, relaxing you deeper and further, further and deeper, deeper and deeper and deeper. Boof, all the way down. Feeling absolutely terrific and on top of the world. Now, Hollywood wants to see how well you react with baby animals. So on a count of three, you're going to stick out your pointing index finger. On that finger, I'm going to give you a rare Brazilian Tweety Bird. That Tweety Bird is worth $85 million. $85 million can be yours. On the count of three, sit up in that chair, and you're going to encourage that birdie by making kissy noises and birdie noises. So on a count of three, sit up in that chair. One, sitting up, up, up. Two, up, up, up. Three, stick out your fingers and give you a birdie. Birdie. Kiss the birdie. Kiss the birdie. Kiss that birdie, pet that birdie, kiss that birdie. That birdie's worth $85 million. If that birdie starts to sing, encourage that birdie. Kiss Pretty that birdie. Make birdie noises to it. Pretty bird. Birdie noises. Make birdie noises really loud. Birdie noises. Birdie noises. Birdie noises. Birdie noises. Birdie noises. Make birdie noises really loud. Be loud about it. Make birdie noises. Pretty birdie bird. noises really loud. Really loud. Come on, make a birdie noise. Birdie noises. Pretty birdie bird. noises. Make a birdie. Big cutie. Tweet, tweet. That little cutie right there. Birdie noises. Bir birdie noises. Birdie noises. Birdie noises. Oh, the birdie bit a big booping on your leg. Wipe your leg. Oh, ugly birdie. Shake it away and shake it away and shake it away and shake it away. One and two and three. Sleep, 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 sleep. On the count of three, on the count of three only, on the count of three, on the count of three only. You're on this radio station. On the count of three, you're going to sit up in that chair, and as I go by, you're going to read the news and traffic in an alien language. On the count of three... It might be something like Star Trek's Klingon. It might be some other language from Star Wars or some other movie you've seen. It could be something you've made up. It might be Martian or Moon language. I don't know. On the count of three, if I tap you on the shoulder, read the news and the traffic in whatever language you can do. If I ask you to translate it to English, you'll be able to do it. I'm going to grab you one at a time, sitting up in that chair, getting ready to read the news. Hair out of your face. Go. Read the news. Go ahead. You're doing great. Nergier, it is, Krikars, Gurgol, Gurgover, New York. Freeze. What does that mean? This is the news, and there's cars all over New York. Back to the language. Go. Uh, <laughs> Sleep all the way down, drifting, floating, dreaming, staying safe in the sea. <laughs> Sitting up, up, up in the chair. Give me that language. Alien language. Read the news, traffic, and weather. Go. 
Jetzt sind wir da als Schwedes. And tapping one ahead, it means what? It was uh, not that cold out today, but I still wore a jacket. And there is cars outside, just like she said. Okay, she's got a whole diatribe sleep all the way down. <laughs> Sitting up in that chair, reading it in whatever language you want, go. And tapping you on the head, it means what in English? Uh, there was an accident on the Brooklyn Bridge and a backup for miles. And what's the weather going to be in alien language? Go. And what does the weather mean in English? Sunny but cold. Okay, and sleep, head dropping down all the way down. Sitting up in that chair, alien language, go. Zabadoo, 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 zabadoo. Obviously. Zabadoo. Obviously. And tapping you on the side of your head, it means what? It means today I already have presence in town, and he's causing a lot of traffic. Nothing new there in New York, right? Sleep all the way down, drifting, floating, dreaming, drifting, floating, dreaming, drifting, floating, dreaming. Now on the count of three. If you're a boy, you're a girl. If you're a girl, you're a boy. On the count of three, sit up in that chair. You may be sitting around that water cooler, and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Just talk about whatever you talk about around the water cooler. These first two people are now gentlemen, not ladies anymore. Talk about whatever you got to talk about, and on the count of three, one, two, three, go. Did you watch the sports last night? I was going to talk about sports, too. <laughs> What you watch? I just, the uh, Thanksgiving f football was on. Oh, football? Yeah, what about you? I wanted to go play golf. Oh, what did you think of the cheerleaders on that sports game, huh? There was something or what? They were hot. They were hot? What did you think of them? <laughs> what did you think of them? I don't remember them, but I do remember watching the football and saying, hey, let's all play some football. Terrific. One, two, three, sleep and sleep and sleep. Now on the count of three, you're a couple of ladies standing around the water cooler in the office talking about whatever happened last night. Your body position will reflect that as well. One, two, three. Go ahead. What happened? Mm -hmm. Talk. I don't remember what happened last night. I got to bed early. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was back at the grocery store, and that guy behind the counter was hitting on me again. And you know what? I brought him back, and I made him wash all my vegetables. That's terrific. And how did you react to that when they did that? Oh, well, then, then, then he cleaned my pipes. What? I see. Yeah. So he's also a plumber, I understand. Put your yes. feet flat on the floor, please. And sleep, sleep, sleep. This is a family show. Let's not get too crazy with this stuff. This is not Las Vegas, but it is going all over the world. Um, feeling absolutely terrific. Now on the count of three, on the count of three only, they want to see you make some noises. Hollywood wants to use you for sound effects. So on the count of three, whatever I ask you to sit up, I want you to be as loud as you can about this. On the count of three, I want you to sit up and first give me the sound of a police car. One, sitting up, 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 eyes closed. Two, up, 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 eyes closed. Up, 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 eyes closed. Up, 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 eyes closed. And three, as loud as you can, be a police car. Go. Louder. Now it could be the sound of an ambulance. Go. <laughs> ambulance, louder. Come on, do it. Together. Let's push these two together a little bit because I think we could do a little harmony here. A little harmony. Do some harmony. Push them together. Freeze. Now, I want to hear a New York City fire truck. Remember, the siren plus the air horn. Ah, uh, on a count of three, be as loud as you can. Fire truck, save people's lives. Go. Freeze. Now, on a count of three, I want to hear noises like a kitty cat. Be a kitty cat. Go. Now be the sound of a tiger. Big kitty cat, go. I love her hands. If you, oh, you're on radio. you got to watch the video version of this. Guy, use your claws. It's okay. Freeze. Now I want you to be a little doggy barking. One, two, three, go. Bark. Yep. 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 Now be a big doggy bark and howl at the moon if you want to. Go. Go rough. Ice cold as you see it here, freeze. On a count of three, let's jump to the next thing. On a count of three, I want you to play the part. Japanese people are interested in the production of Godzilla. They might want to use your voice for the Godzilla. So on a count of three, remember Godzilla has a big giant body, big legs, head, tail, tiny little arms, and spits fire, make a lot of noise, scare Japan, loud as you can. One, two, three, go. Uh, so I am Japanese Godzilla. I will step on your face. Raw Japanese Godzilla. <laughs> louder, 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 louder. Spit fire. Uh, 
Oh, uh, Jeffrey. Godzilla. That'd be a typical New Yorker yelling at cars that are coming, are coming past you too quick as you're trying to cross the street. Just give them no curse words. Mm. Just give them the usual scream. Hey, what are you doing? Let's go. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, hey, I'm no, standing no, over no, here. Drive. What, what are you, are you doing? doing? Watch where you're going. Where are you yeah. going? What do you got? A problem <laughs> or something? What's wrong with you? You over there. Freeze. Feeling absolutely wonderful and terrific. Right now, if this was a live show, I'd have people like freaking out in the audience. Feeling absolutely terrific. Um, let's see. Off the top of my head here. On the count of three, on the count of three, on the count of three only, um, you guys are firing laser pistols at little UFOs the size of dinner plates on the ceiling. Protect the people in the studio and in this room. Shoot them down with your laser pistols. One, two, three. Shoot them down. Shoot them down. Make laser pistol noises. Make, make laser pistol noises. <laughs> Make it nice and loud. It turns out they don't like bells. There's a bell right there with a rope. Grab the rope and ring the bell really loud. Put the a big bell. Bong. Come on, bong. a big bell, not a little one. Feeling absolutely terrific, absolutely wonderful on top of the world. If anybody's watching this on video, this is ice cold. I set nothing up in advance. Just, and this guy's eyes are open, but he's still in hypnosis. He's doing terrific. Just let your eyes close and go to sleep, 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 sleep. Now on the count of three, to wrap this up, I guess, we're at that point. On the count of three, I want you to make loud agatai noise. First of all, play drums on your thighs. Play drums on your thighs like you're in Madison Square Garden. Show rock bands how it's done. One, two, three, play. Now make simple noises with your mouth at the same time. Simple noises. Now put the drumsticks down, grab your guitar, make guitar noises, wail. Air guitar, let's make it happen, make noise. Rock this house, let's go. Rock this house. Come on, work it. One, two, three, sleep, 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 sleep all the way down. Feeling absolutely terrific, absolutely on top of the world, truly amazing. In these moments you have rocked, in these moments you have relaxed, in these moments you are feeling terrific. You and I, great good friends, whenever we see each other, feeling absolutely terrific and on top of the world, you're feeling mighty and empowered. As I double tap this area, you've had a nine hour nap and a seven hour back and foot rub, sleeping peacefully through the night, staying in hypnosis with me for just a few more moments. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, you are certain, serene, and sure that the best moments of your life happen tomorrow because all of a sudden when you dream tonight, happy, pleasant dreams, super happy, pleasant dreams will guide you into your best tomorrow. And when you wake up, all the stuff that you've wished to accomplish, want to accomplish, or been putting off for a long time seems to make sense to do. You rise up to be a shining star in your life, in your world, in your universe. You are unstoppable anything you put your mind to. Maybe it's writing a book. Maybe it's taking on a project. Maybe it's getting a raise or an upgrade in what you're doing. Maybe it's taking your business business to the next level. I don't know. Maybe it's being the person you've always wanted to be and being lighter about your life on yourself, loving yourself like never before. Nod your head yes, that's all true. You're feeling mighty, empowered, and inspired. On the count of five, you're back to this room feeling terrific. Whenever I say trance master, my stage name, you scream out best hypnotist ever at the top of your lungs. That just makes me happy to hear that. Whenever I say ABC, you scream out ABC rules because we're on ABC radio and video. On the count of three, you're back feeling terrific halfway, but you were inspired to greatness halfway through, and you can actually feel a shift and an upgrade in your heart and your mind to make you feel absolutely amazing. You're gonna feel like your heart is lit up and there's light glowing out of your face. A harmony of heart and mind is wisdom, and you find that balance within yourself, keeping the small stuff small, and empowering yourself to great new heights. One, you're sitting up, 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 coming back to the room, feeling absolutely terrific, keeping your eyes closed until the count of five. Two, you're halfway back almost, but not quite, feeling absolutely reset, returned, returned rejuvenated, feeling absolutely amazing and truly terrific, as if this is the best time of your life, because the best times of your life begin right now and forever into the rest of your life. Three, halfway back, you're on top of the world, smiling, giggling, laughing when I bring you back, feeling truly amazing. My shoes, my wristwatch make you laugh, giggle, and cry out with laughter. The funniest thing you've ever seen, if I point at it only, if I do it, my watch and my shoes and my funny red pen make you smile, giggle, and laugh. Four, almost all the way back. You've had a nine-hour nap, a seven-hour back and foot rub, peacefully sleeping through the night. Tomorrow, the best chapter of your life begins. Nod your head, yes, you know that to be true. 
It's unstoppable, not because they say so, but because you're going to make it happen. Your creativity is now open and enhanced. You are unstoppable, loving yourself in the best of ways. And five, opening your eyes, wakey, 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 eggs and bakey, like I always do in my shows. First name? Jen. First name? Danielle. Name? Rich. Name? Steven. Name? Rich. I just wanted to hear him say it twice. You guys, give yourself a round of applause for the work you just did. Absolutely. That was absolutely ice cold, no rehearsal, no prep, nothing. I just put them out. How are you guys feeling? Good. Good. Have you seen my funny, funny wristwatch with these crazy <laughs> shoes I'm wearing? Have you seen these? <laughs> How about this funny, funny, silly red pen of mine? Woo! 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 And, you know, I love being the trance master. Yay! Trance master. The best. Trance master is what? The best. Thank you very much. I think you're pretty great, too. Um, and I love coming here on ABC. Oh, ABC Rules. ABC, ABC what? Woo! You can do your arms. ABC rules. what? Rules. rules. ABC rules. what? Rules. 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 ABC. Rules. rules. I've been listening to this station since I'm a small kid, and this thing has been an amazing experience for me. I hope it was for you, too. Lots of love from my heart to all you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Steve. Rich, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. You, uh, wh wh how much do you remember from the last few minutes? I feel like I remember most of it. Do you, do you remember that part where you were running down the aisles uh, doing somersaults with no clothes on? I don't believe that happened. Uh, <laughs> the other pants <laughs> your head, you know? How do you feel, Steve? I, I feel uh, I, I was definitely a little tired coming in here. I definitely feel a little more upbeat and relaxed and uh, more confident about myself. Have you seen this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing, Danielle? I'm doing well as well. Um, I'm feeling a little warm. Like warm. Well, well, the lights are doing. How about you, Jen? Energized. Energized. Yeah. I love it. All right. Energized. We're, 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 we're going to do a recap with uh, John Serbone in just a minute. We'll tell you where you can see and hear more of John in the future. This is the other side of midnight. I don't know what it sounded like on radio, but to watch it firsthand mm. was absolutely delightful. And uh, you could see John Serbone at Z2 on December 9th. We're going to continue here on uh, the other side of midnight straight ahead. Welcome back to The Other Side of Midnight. I'm Frank Moreno. If you're just tuning in, uh, we have been really enjoying a special treat this hour. My old friend, master hypnotist and master trance master, John Serbone, has been talking to us a little bit about hypnoto hypnotism, and he actually went so far as to hypnotize four friends of mine, four people that uh, he never met before in his life and who would have no, in, no interest in going along with any sort of shenanigans or anything. I was absolutely astounded that those four folks you never met them before. You didn't really do much of a, a prep with them before you started, and yet they all seem to fall into pretty deep hypnosis right away. Yeah, I've invented as of um, last week. I'm up to 115 inductions that work this quickly. I've reinvented how that got done. Years ago at some of the hypnosis conventions, some of the old guys were real nice old men, friendly people, older ladies too, great people. But there was a couple that wouldn't teach you certain things. So I saw some guy doing a faster induction, and when I first got trained, I was told it took 25 minutes. Don't miss a period, don't miss a comma, breathe, do this, whatever, pause. Stupid. Um, and on the way home from that convention, when the guy wouldn't teach me, true story, a truck flipped over on I-90, and they couldn't get on the highway back from Massachusetts or New, or New Hampshire, I forget where it was. And I got stuck on I-95, and as I approached Mystic Connecticut, my mind subconsciously was working. As I got off the, I said, I gotta write this down. I got off the exit at Mystic Connecticut, I wrote down the first one. So now I had 80 suggestion scripts I had published at that point, and I had one of this. And for marketing, you can't have 80 of this and one right. of that. So then I, it took me nine months to come up with another one. Now they're just like boom, boom, boom. That's terrific. And if you notice, I did a different approach on every single one. I know, one. I did notice. Now, did the way that the four folks that were up here, Jen, Danielle, Rich, and Steve, did the way that each of them reacted to the things that you were saying and the things that you were doing, did that change your approach in dealing with them at all? Um, yeah, I, if I see them reacting in a certain way and I can bring out more of it, I'll bring it out. If I see they're low reactive on a certain thing, I'm gonna jump to something else and get more reaction out of them because it's about entertainment when I do it this way. And again, if they go to my uh, website, I have two websites, but there's a link to the clinical one. But if you go to worldfamoushypnotist.com, that's worldfamoushypnotist.com, you can take a look at the events, you can look at different things, but there's also a link to my YouTube where you can see me doing this Absolutely. all over the Absolutely, it's world. really something. I have it in Europe, I have it in Las Vegas, New York, Texas, you name it, I'm doing it. And it's uh, December 9th at Z2. All the information is on the website, worldsgreatesthypnotist.com. It's a, a tremendous show. People should definitely take advantage world of it. Famous if <laughs> world famous hypnotist. World famous hypnotist. Before they go to somebody else's 
his website. Yeah, exactly. Me, you know? World famous hypnotist.com. Um, quick question. One is, you know, I was standing there on the stage. Now, I wasn't following the visual cues of uh, w looking at the space between fingers and things like that, but I'm hearing the same instructions that you're giving to everybody else. Why did I not fall under hypnosis, and why did the people listening to us on the radio not fall under hypnosis? Um, well, for starters, they weren't following my fingers. That's mm -hmm. the reason I use that on an approach with what I did, because um, I don't want to do a verbal thing that's going to put the entire audience into hypnosis if they're driving a car, for example. I did a radio show, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago here in, in Manhattan, and I would do these relaxation techniques, and I'd be like, if you're driving a car, pull over, take the keys out of the ignition, whatever it was. So I did stuff that was more conducive to what we were doing here. Got it. To get them into hypnosis. And again, I wasn't aiming it at you. If I was, you would have been on the floor gurgling. Got it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. But then that's like, what do they call that, Tuesday? In your life, <laughs> exactly. You know? so. At least. Hey, um, so is there anything we can do to hypnotize the audience to make sure they listen to all four hours of this radio program each and every day? Um, I can basically give you a suggestion that as much as you had fun with this, you'll have fun with all the other segments that you're going to program. And let's face it, everybody wants to have a little bit more fun. As a matter of fact, the Cindy Lauper made a career out of singing. Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> so for the girls and the boys, you want to have fun. This is the guy to come to. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, I mentioned yesterday when I was previewing your appearance that I had tried to do this uh, stage hypnosis maybe about uh, 24, 25 years ago. And I... I, it with didn't, somebody else. Yeah, with someone else. Okay. And it really didn't It really didn't uh, take to me. And I'm wondering why that is. Is it because, I know you said the more intelligent you are, the more creative you are, the deeper you fall into hypnosis. Is because of a lack of intelligence no, and creativity no, no, on my no, part? No, 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 no. It has to do with some people just don't have it concentration-wise that night. I've done shows where I'm like at a casino or Meaning a Meaning the hypnotist or, something. or the person, the subject? The subject, the uh -huh. person I'm working with. So let's say... I'm on a cruise ship someplace. Let's say I'm at a casino in Las Vegas or something. I'll have somebody come up and they don't do so well the first night, okay? All right, because I do testing. There's a lot of some stuff I did at the beginning about your fingers and stuff. Um, I make the whole audience do that. And I see who does better, who doesn't. I've had people who don't do well the first night, and the second and third night they come up on the stage, they're my superstars. Because we all have days when we're stressed out about something or we're more creative or we're more thinking and concentrating and other days where we're not doing all of that stuff. Are there certain people that just can't be hypnotized? As long as you're over four years old, although I've hypnotized three-year-olds, uh, as long as you're mentally healthy, not paranoid, schizophrenic, psychotic, other you know, various mental illnesses, as long as... Um, you're able to focus, concentrate, and follow directions and are not dead. That's a big one. But if they come <laughs> in to quit smoking or lose weight, I'm very good with that. I mean, it's just hard getting in Staten Island humor, you know, stuffing them back in the trunk of the car is challenging. <laughs> but otherwise, everybody has to be hypnotizable because it's the way your brain is designed by the Almighty, or however you see that, to recycle the energy and take your stress levels down. If you're not going into hypnosis on a regular basis, there's some studies that indicate that I've, I've been given and read that say that it leads to mental imbalances because the stress levels stay too high. You, you alluded to the fact that when you were young, you created a self-hypnosis uh, technique. So people can hypnotize yes, themselves. Everything, everything theoretically is self-hypnosis because even if I'm guiding you into hypnosis, now there's a bit of a bump in the road when they explain this in, in training. Self-hypnosis is you do something to put yourself into hypnosis. But So if I lead you into hypnosis, that's called hetero-hypnosis. However... By virtue of the fact that you're sitting in front of me and using me as the tool to hypnotize you, Let's it's still self-hypnosis. Got it. I got it. Now, so it's kind of like a little weird explanation, but that's how it is, actually. Uh, and what are some strategies that people may use self-hypnosis for in their own life? Is it about stress? Is it about self-improvement? Well, what when I do private session work, I have a series of top private sessions. People come to quit smoking. They come to lose weight, get a better night's sleep, overcome a breakup is huge. Mm. A lot of those. Uh, do better on testing. Um, reduce stress that you mentioned. Uh, and a lot of other things. I've worked with a couple of kids who are doctor referrals for, who stutter, for example. And it's amazing because when I bring them out of hypnosis, the stuttering is tremendously reduced right away. Wow. And over time, because I record live an MP3 audio file for them to go home and refer, you know, refresh themselves with, um, many of them just get over it. 
And uh, if you are someone, I remember I read a story about eight or nine years ago about a young person, I think a college student down in Florida, that was experimenting with self-hypnosis, and they actually got into a car accident, and uh, I think they the person died because they had fallen asleep while driving. I mean, is yeah, that but, something but people need to be aware of? Sleep and hypnosis are two different things. If awake is on one side of the spectrum and sleep is on the other, hypnosis is somewhere in the middle. And if the person was putting themselves into hypnosis while they were driving a car, uh -huh. that or, can or they closed their eyes, while driving a car, uh -huh. you know, probably not the smartest thing Got you it. could do. So don't do that, if folks. Yeah, are the watching. idea is be better than that. If you're going to do self hypnosis, do it in the privacy of your bedroom, your living room, your recliner, you know, some place where it's comfortable and you're alone. Got it. My guest has been John Serbone. Uh, see him uh, today in New Jersey. See him December 9th at uh, Z2 on Staten Island. You can go to John's website for all the latest information. The website again. Worldfamoushypnotist.com. That's worldfamoushypnotist.com. Or go to the Transmaster channel on YouTube. And uh, if the few people out there that may not have internet, if they still want to get tickets to one of your shows, is there a good way for them to um, do that? You can just contact me. You can contact me at 718-948-8623. Boy, you're in for it now, man. I'll, t I'll tell well, you. Well, you know, hey, <laughs> what's going to happen is going to happen. I'll leave me voicemails, right. and I'll be just digging out from now until <laughs> December. But I mean, exactly. Uh, John Cervone, a uh, real treat to see you again. Thank you for doing this. You were delighted. it's a tough I, hour. Next time a little sooner, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. This Absolutely. Too much fun. I'll, I'll see you again in 18 years, again. right? Uh, this is The Other Side of Midnight. If you want to comment on uh, any portion of my discussion with John Cervone or the demonstration that you just heard, Feel free to give me a call, 1-800-848-9222. That's 1-800-848-9222. Until next hour, keep asking questions.